What's up, people? Piz out here, and um, hoping everybody's having a happy and safe Halloween season this year. Um, Halloween is just right around the corner, and um, I kind of felt like I've been a little lazy this season. Uh, I've not put out an, as many videos as I or, as I wanted to put out this this October, this Halloween season, or or the the, the kind of videos that I really wanted to put out this this Halloween season. And I think that's Partly because of work, partly because of uh, an illness, um, partly because of, of laziness. So, um, for the past few years, I've done Halloween recommendation videos where I pick a movie and I recommend it for uh, your Halloween night viewing pleasure or whatever. And at the beginning of this month, I made a video where I recommended a bunch of lesser known horror movies. Um, that I felt would be worthy viewing throughout the month of October or if you wanted to select a few of those and do like a Halloween night marathon or whatever I thought those would be good titles but I left one title out and I'm not sure why it slipped my mind but it did but it definitely um, it definitely belongs in that category and I'm kinda glad that it did um, slip my mind so that I could do standalone video on it because it's really one of the better horror movies that I've seen in a very very long time and it deserves a standalone video and it definitely deserves if you guys haven't seen this movie I highly highly recommend it the movie I'm talking about is House of the Devil written and directed by Ty West um, this movie it's set in the 80s and there's a lot of movies and TV shows and stuff that you know have tried to go back and capture that era and, and be nostalgic and they do it in a very over the top kind of way this movie did it perfectly I believe that this you know it was the 80s I mean they had you know it, it's more than just the hair it's more than just the clothes it's 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 a look it's little things it's like the headphones that the, the girl's wearing in her Walkman, a Walkman with these, you know, little things like that. There's a lot of other things, you know, uh, that, that really sort of set it off and made it feel realistic and true to the 80s that a lot of movies can't. So, I mean, right there alone, uh, that for me really sort of, um, you know, set it apart. But it's, it, it's about a young lady who's trying to make money. She's trying to make uh, uh, money so she can get her own apartment and she stumbles across a uh, an ad in the paper to do some babysitting um, and um, it sounds like easy money she goes to the house she meets this um, eccentric kind of couple who tell her that you know who she's babysitting and you know blah 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 the rules this and that uh, only things aren't what they seem and they aren't what they seem on a big level there's a lot of weird stuff going on in this house um, House of the Devil it's it's a pretty good title considering um, it's just a really it's got a really weird creepy eerie atmosphere it's just it's just it, it's perfect Halloween night fodder um, it's kind of you know it, it it works at its own pace it builds suspension your suspension suspense um, <laughs> and it, it, it just works it just works it's just a really good solid horror movie it's freaky it's good it's good it's good it's good it's good Ty West definitely is a fan of the genre and he knows how to make right and direct a solid movie um, I haven't seen Kevin Fever 2 which he also did I heard I've not heard good things about that movie. I also heard that that movie was kind of uh, control was kind of taken away from him, or or he wasn't really happy with the way the movie turned out because of interference from whomever. I don't know, but anyway, House of the Devil is an awesome film. I highly recommend it this this Halloween season. I've got the DVD. Um, Gorgon VHS double pack here that I ordered um, and I've, I've not opened them and I really don't plan on opening them because um, I think this set here is really cool but um, yeah I really can't say enough good things about this movie it's just really good all the way around the writing um, the the acting um, the, the the, 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 the tightening of the screws as the story progresses and you're, you're not sure what's going to happen and you know the it's 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 just a really good movie I'm babbling at this point because it's kind of late but um, 
really highly recommend this flick. I think you can watch it for free on Netflix. If you've got a Netflix account, absolutely go there, check it out. I really can't say enough good things about The House of the Devil, written and directed by Ty West. This is perfect Halloween night viewing stuff. So I will stop babbling about it and uh, let you guys go and watch it because Halloween is just around the corner. And uh, again, I um, want to wish everybody a very happy and safe Halloween season. And um, until next time, you guys take it easy. Peace.